are we rolling? Howdy, folks. It's Shabby. And he's back. And he's back to... Where are we? Oh. Make a moose cloak. Hopefully, and maybe... The Travoy. At long last, we will make the Travoy. I hope. So let's see if we can do it. Enough talking, Shabby. Alright. First order of business, drop the bear hides. Gotta get them things a cure and uh, see what, where are they at? 51%. Twenty-nine percent. Oh my goodness. And ninety-one. Okay. Alright, we got something. <laughs> we got something at least. And then we got much cured guts here. And oh our moose cloak is Oh we took all oh no no, it's over here. Here here it is. Okay. Is Hiding. Scary. Hard to see it. Hard to see it down there. Alright. Got some odds and ends. Bips and bobs. Let's just drop some, some of the extra stuff here real quick. Sticks. Let's grab these sticks and move them. Move them over here. Okay. Drop all. Alright, water. Guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy. So right what's now. the weather like out here? I can't remember. I think it's just kind of foggy. Well, that was a long trip. That was a long load in. Okay, got a little bit of coal here. Five looks like. Uh, yeah, okay, we got a decent amount of meat here, not, not a mountain, not a mountain of meat, but. Right, yeah, I got a bunch of books, too. There's the books here. Bunch of books. Okay, yeah, and we're gonna have to make some water, so I'll leave those in my inventory. All right. Wait, one more thing, one more thing. We have one piece of coal. Let's get some reclaimed real quick. thought about some late game act activities to do with the spray paint uh, but I'll keep to myself for right now but I don't know I might do something with that um okay let's chop this box okay. that should be enough for a decent amount of water Here we go. Hitting the ground running. Kind of. If that if that it means that you're gonna stay in one spot for several days, then yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's that's hit hitting the ground running for us. I don't know if we'll be here. I will probably be here for probably a day and a half, I bet. I forget how long it takes to make the moose cloak actually. Nice to have a pot, though. I do know that much. And then you, you can pull it right out of your inventory. Or your your uh, radial. How many, how many um, clothes, moose, cloak? 
or guts. Okay, it's only 20 hours. That's not bad. Let's do an hour and a half, and then I think I might be able to save the skillet water. <laughs> we'll see. Barely. Let's do wait. Do I have a uh, lantern? Oh, I need a lantern. Let me see if there's a lantern in here or out here. I think I, I might have left it out here, but I didn't see it, so I don't think so. Okay, doesn't look like it. These flyover crows. Had to have been. Had to. It's a beautiful sky out there right now, though. I guess we'll just have to stumble down the stairs. It's gonna suck. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the water on. Put the water on, Shabby. Do another do another round of another round of water. Okay. This might be, this might be completely stupid. I just don't know. Uh oh, come on. I don't know how to fall down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh. All right, man, that pot makes such a difference with water. Ugh. Okay, it's probably too dark to do much more crafting anyway. So, um. You make some tea or something. Cook up some potatoes. All right. Now we can make this extra set of that. That wouldn't be bad, actually. But I'm going to be carrying the, sorry, I'm going to be carrying the moose satchel always. So there's only going to be one slot anyways. I don't know how the Travoy is going to, how that's going to factor into this stuff. I'm just not sure. Okay, let's do a little keep her knife nice and sharp here. I need to find a place to rest. You can break your knife making a coat, so you gotta keep make sure you keep an eye on that. Um, okay, we got a couple in there.
All right. Well, Axel's about to fall apart. It's okay. We're going to definitely get, um, we're definitely going to get cabin fever. There's just no way to, no way to avoid it. We have too much crafting to do. Maybe I'll make a snow shelter at the farmhouse at that fire pit. Because I think that fire will stay lit. Pretty sure. Um, okay. Sleep. Let's see, what's, what's our day? What's our... Looks like it's going to be like eight hours. Should be hitting sunrise about... About right, I think. First light, sun up. Oh, we had an Aurora. We have an Aurora. An ongoing. Okay. Let's see if we can get up these stairs without killing ourselves or getting stuck under the stairs or something. She's usually where I get stuck underneath the stairs. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay. Let's see how long our supplies last. Our internal supplies. Whatever that's called. Our, I don't know. What we have in our stomach. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, Shabby, just stop talking. Just stop talking, please. Get some food out here real quick. Our internal fuel supply. But don't make that a thing, Shabby. It's dumb. Oh, you have to go through here. Okay. All right. I see. I see. Okay. Don't forget those shabby. That's that's a shabby. That's that would be a shabby move right there. Leaving your pot and your skillet. Okay, um, get some water and then we will continue cranking away at this thing. I can't believe we're making this. I feel like this might be a mistake. I don't know. <laughs> am I doing, am I, am I, am I doing something wrong here? Is this, is this something I'm going to regret? Am I wasting my time? I don't know. These are all the questions that are bouncing around my head right now. I mean, look, it's 90% resistant to water. That's pretty amazing. Bear's 80%. So it's not as good as against the wind or the cold. It's slightly better on protection. It doesn't hurt your your run speed as much, your, your whatever, your, your sprint. It's one kilogram lighter. I mean, I feel like the bear coat is definitely far superior piece, piece of clothing. Not far superior, but it is it is better. It's better. You just have to sacrifice a little bit of weight and, you know, and then like sort of marginal advantages or, or disadvantages compared to the moose cloak. So the, the temperature is the most important thing. In my opinion. And it's, what, a degree? It's like, uh, it's two and a half degrees warmer. That's, yeah. that's That really is the, the primary difference in why the, why the bear cloak is better. Okay, now let's see if we can get out of here. 
Okay, and we hang a look. All right, we're going down and we're down and we're on the ground, looks like. Where's that truck? Seeing some mud flaps. Okay, that's a good sign. Mud flaps can mean only one thing. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, anything we can do at all here? Let's look. Well, let's just sleep as long as we can, and then we'll and then we'll see where we'll see how much time we need to kill. I don't even think I can do. I can't. I can't sleep that long. I can only sleep like nine hours. Looks like. Ooh, we're so close. So close. Well, let's just do something while we're waiting. Wish I had a piece of metal I'd, I'd fix and repair this hacksaw. All right. A ruined syrup. Hopefully we can still make pancakes with that. We'll see. Um, we need water. I do I do remember that part. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. I know, Astrid. Hang on. Hang on. I'll take care of you. Wait a minute, did I get out the wrong spot? Oh man, I don't know where I'm... This is probably the stairs, because that's where I always get get lost. Okay, here's the truck. And then... I think... Oh my goodness. Oh, here, okay, here's the barrel. There's the barrel. I think. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Oh man, oh man, I'm lost. I'm totally lost. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, hang on. Let me just see if I can see. I can see some light, but I don't. I think I might be stuck underneath the stairs. Like I always get stuck underneath the stairs. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's just get out of here. I want to get out of here, away from all this mess. Okay, is this the... <gasps> okay, I think I know where I'm at. I think I'm by the door. Pretty sure I'm by the door, but I don't know. There's some hay bale... Oh, this is ridiculous. This is good content right here, folks. This is why you come watch Shabby play. Oh my god. Alright, there's hay. <laughs> Got some hay. I don't know where I'm at. I'm just totally lost. Fire barrel. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Didn't realize it was that easy. Water bottle. That's what I was looking for this whole time. As soon as I put the sleep, the the sleeping bag down, no problem. Find everything I need. Okay. Okay, fire bell's right there, so if I just go to the left against the wall. I'm going up the stairs now.
Metal shell. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here, and I'm just gonna sharpen a knife. I can't see a damn thing. Should have done this a long time ago. Oh my god. Had no idea where I was. Zero. All right, let's finish this moose cloak. We got it. We got it. All right, baby. Oh, that was weird. I only clicked once and it just took it off. That's strange. All right, let's take this down. Can you drop? Can you fall with something? Yeah, you can. Okay. Of course you can. All right, sounds like we got some weather out there. Let's look at our let's look at ourselves. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. 19. Not bad. We're getting there. We got to get this extra pair of undies, folks. Got to get that. Back up clothes. Back up clothes. Okay, I want to definitely take one of these with me. Take these books. Read on the porch. Uh, we want to take... We would take all these. Take all these. And we're going to be crafting over there. Um, take those. We'll leave the water. Future Shabby Knight might need that. Um... Let's tidy up a little bit. I'm just gonna let these bear hides cure. We're gonna go over there, we're gonna make a travoy over to the farmhouse. And then we'll probably some at some point after we make the travoy, we'll come over here. And we're going to just haul all the meat and the bear hides back over to the farmhouse. And all these guts. Just We're just going to take all of this. And I don't know if I'll leave anything here. Maybe the blue. Maybe these. That's about it. I want to take everything. Okay, so we're going to wait until the storm stops. And then we'll go. So let's try to... Let's try to, you know, occupy ourselves with something. Maybe read a book. I think that might be the best thing to do right now. So, all right, let's read the archery book. We got some acorns to prep, too. All right. No, no, archery. Here we go. Let's do it. We'll hit archery four with this book, looks like. Sounds like it stopped, of course. Okay. All right. Um, got a wolf over there. That's not, not a problem. Just peek around the corner here. I just don't want any wolf sneaking up behind us. We'll just eat this right off the ground. That's real surviving right there. Just eating food right off the ground. Just pick it up and just stick it in your mouth. Uh oh, there's a bear. Bear is here. The bear is here. The bear is back. He's back in town. That was a little long. Oh, it broke. It broke. I thought a shot long. I really did. Okay. So as he bleeds out. <laughs> was not playing on that, obviously. 
Okay, as the bear bleeds out, we're gonna um, stick with our plan, and then we'll and we have to come back here anyways. Um, I guess it's gonna be a little bit quicker turnaround than what I was thinking, but that's okay. We'll just make the travoy, and then we'll come right back, pretty much. So let's just do that. Uh, take a little bit of meat. I don't think we have much over there. Laszlo! Yeah, I know. It's like, you step That's outside and right there's a bear. Yeah, nobody plans on that. Nobody. <laughs> That's why you get sucked into the barn. At least this is... I mean, I think a lot of people suffer from the barn vortex, like I do. But... There's just so much. There's always a, there's there's always a bear. I think the bear is always up. Well, not always up. I mean, there's always an active spawn there, and so you often will get the bear at the barn, and then you're just and then you're sitting there dealing with it. Oh yeah, Chicago. You usually yeah you usually don't run into bears when you when you leave your your place in Chicago usually. The Windy City. I bet you're used to this, though. This is something you have in Chicago. <laughs> I used to live. Uh, I used to live just south of Chicago. Well, not just south, but I used to live in Champaign. Wait, so cold. Back uh, about ten years ago. So I went to Chicago quite a bit. Love Chicago. Oh, what am I doing? Put that back up there, sh shabby. There we go. Already looted that guy. Yeah, it's bad everywhere, right? Rent is bad everywhere. Excuse me. See, I was watching a show that's set in Chicago. Oh, yeah, I'm watching. I just started watching The Bear. It's really good. I don't know if you're into that. I'm into, like, cooking stuff. I like that. I'm, like, into cooking shows. Oh, you haven't heard of it? It's on, um... I think it's on FX or something like that. Like, or or, or Hulu if you just watch streaming stuff. Um, it's, a, it's just, like, a kitchen... You know, a very sort of intense kitchen situation. You know, you don't do many shows, yeah. It's a if you're gonna, it's it's good. It, I mean, if you like drama, it's a, it's a drama. I usually go for more like light-hearted comedy. Always sunny in Philadelphia, you know. Okay. All right, we got some books here. Um, Man, I, I have been really... Th this has probably been one of those... Probably my least read number of books on any run. For me, it's just... Man, we left the... We left our fishing book down on in Coastal Highway, I guess. I'm gonna keep my meat out here. I think it'll preserve better if it's out here. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> That's one thing I like about going to the summit. I haul all my books to the cabin and use the food from the summit to read them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
That's a good place to read as well. Yeah, because you can read at night there. You can read on at night on the porch here. That's why I like to have my books there. All right, well let's let's uh, stock our shelves, shall we? With all our goodies. I guess I can just drop all of this. Um, and then our potatoes, of course. But let's hang on. Let's get these this flour in here first. I love having this stocked up. It just makes me feel, it makes me feel homey, you know. Like this is comforting to see stocked a stocked kitchen in the apocalypse. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. I'm not good at this stuff. I'm not, this isn't my... I'm not good at organizing. <laughs> Mainly. Uh, come on. What's with this thing, man? I don't get it. I've heard you can like leave and then come back and then the hitboxes are smaller or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't get that. I don't get that into it. Drop your potatoes. Got a pile of veggies there in the floor. Um, okay, so we have one, two, three maples. We need four maples total. Let me drop one. Uh, we can drop these as well. Uh, do you know you can sh uh, you can shorten the dark by hitting Alt F4? Wait a minute, what's Alt F4 doing? This is a TLD joke and I'm not getting it. Because I don't know what Alt, Alt F4 does. <laughs> it closes the attic window. <laughs> Really? It closed the active active window. <laughs> okay. Oh, alt yeah. Oh yeah. Alt. Oh, I thought I um, alt tab, but that'll just that'll just sort of uh, minimize it, right? Alt F four. Okay. That 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 can definitely shorten uh, that can definitely uh, shorten the dark for sure. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. It's hard to do it in text form, you know what I mean? It really is. All right, I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to snag this. Yeah, speaking of coffee. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So the pot that we had, Oh no, I thought we had an extra pot. We only, we still only have one pot. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. That's sad. Um, okay. We're going to make the Travoy. Let's look at the Travoy. Stay, stay on the pl Stay on track. Shabby. Stay on track. It's a tool. And it's at the very bottom of this list. Here we go. Deer hide, two cured guts. <gasps> oh no. And we didn't grab any guts from the, f oh no. Oh, heartbreaking. I don't have an extra gut on me either, do I? No, I don't. Oh no. Uh, it's not that far. It's not that far. Shoot. That sucks. We'll get some more outdoor time, huh? Oh, shoot. Well, let's make the Travoy. Okay, we'll make the Travoy at the barn. <laughs> uh, oh, well. It's fine. We'll make the Travoy at the barn and we can still stick to the plan. You wish you could use the skill as a weapon? I know. That would be cool. 
You could absolutely do that. No water, of course. I don't even have a water supply here. I've been so bad about water on this run. Really bad. Really, really bad. I would do anything for a drink right now. Okay, Astrid, I know. I was just talking about that. I was just talking about your situation. All right, let's drink some of these big teas here. All right, we're going to have to make water. I have these tablets. I'm going to use these tablets. We'll just crank out a bunch of water. Okay, let's grab the pot before I forget. All right. Okay, we're going to go over... We're going to go back over to the barn. My goodness, Shabby. This isn't, again, this isn't much of a change in plans. Because I was going to just make the Travoy and go back over there anyways. So it's not a big deal. I'm just telling that to myself to make myself feel better about making a mistake like that. <laughs> Alright, Laszlo. Um... I just want to see if the bear's dead or not. Yeah, still bleeding out. The bear is still bleeding out. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to think of anything to loot around here. I'm hearing a weird noise and it makes me feel like maybe there's another bear. It's nearby, but I don't think so. What really sounds... Hang on a sec. <laughs> Ten minutes. French toast. You know what you know what happens is you do a really good job making French toast. Which I literally I mean it's not it's not that hard to make, but I literally made French toast for the first time two or three weeks ago and now it's like you know, I'm getting requests to make French toast. It's just it's a whole thing now. It's a whole thing. So I'm gonna have to cut off here in a bit. Let's go ahead and just grab these cattails over here. Try to get my hour in though before I, before I leave. We definitely want to accomplish our goals too today. Moose cloak and, and a moose cloak and a travoy. That was our big goals for today. This isn't too bad. I mean, in this time of day, it's like, no big deal. When it's this warm, I guess that's what I'm meaning, meaning to say. Birch Forest is wigging out over there. Again, I, this reminds me, I think, I really think that a zone that's like a forested, heavily forested zone would be really wild. I, I, and it doesn't have to be like, the whole thing doesn't have to be forested, but like, 
big areas of, of thick forest would be sweet, I think. I don't know if thick's the right word. Dense. Dense forest. Don't see a bear anywhere. I'm sure it probably just went. It usually just goes over there near its the bear den and dies over there. Okay, here we go. There's our gut. <laughs> oh, shabby. But we have a lantern now, so all of our real problems with the barn are going to go away. Um, oh, oh, one more thing. The water situation. Here we go. All right, we are going to have to make some more water, but this will get us through the night at least. Okay. Um, Travoy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Shabby. What are you doing, man? No. What an idiot. Oh my god. I forgot to grab the deer hide. Oh, good lord. Alright, well. We came for our gut. <laughs> oh my god. What an idiot. Shabby is back. That's right, Mr. Barley. Welcome. Shabby just made a total just dumb mistake. I mean, huge. Well, not huge, but really stupid. I'll fill you in. I left the barn earlier this morning to, uh, to make a travoy. So I went over there and realized that I only had one gut on me, and it takes two guts. So I decided to go back to the barn, and I'll just make the travoy at the barn. And I just now realized I forgot uh, a deer hide. So now I'm going back to the barn, or sorry, the farmhouse. So, anyways, this is good times. This is good times. Luckily, it doesn't take too long to do this, but wow. This isn't how it's done. This is not how it's done. I think so. I mean, the Travoy is supposed to make travel easier, right? And here we are just traveling all over the place just to make it. I think there's some irony here going on. There's some irony at play. We did shoot a bear, too, so I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's a furry mound anywhere out there. Welcome back, Laszlo. You just uh, missed me. I forgot to... Uh, I forgot a gut. So, I think, you're, I think you were here for that part. I forgot a gut. Um, so then I decided to make the travoy at the barn, but then I got over to the barn and I forgot... To take a bear, uh, to uh, to take a deer hide. So now I'm going back to the farmhouse. <laughs> you 
Yeah, exactly. That's that is a that's a nice feature. You don't have to keep getting maple saplings. I I will stop here in a bit. I think I'm yeah. I think I probably need to just step away. Step away for for a bit. If I'm making mistakes like that. I am going to make some French toast in a bit. About 15 minutes. You know, you make French toast once for the family and everyone's just like, you got to keep doing it. You should always, always question, if you're going to do a good job at something, just wonder, just think about it first ahead of time. Because sometimes it'll just be like, oh, you do such a good job at it, you have to keep doing it. Okay, so I guess we can go down here and make our, start working our travoy at long last. I can't wait to get this thing made. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, you you made you did a good job with some grilled cheese. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah. Um, Grill cheese. My my daughter's not a big grilled cheese fan, luckily, but I love grilled cheese. And I, you know what I do with grilled cheese? I put, I put, um, I put little. Uh, I make up. I make bacon first, and then I, um, you know, then I cook the. Then I, I um, put the cheese. I put the bread in the bacon grease, maybe a little bit of butter too. You know, nothing wrong with that. And uh, put the bacon with the cheese and then I also put jalapeno peppers in there and it is it is amazing it is absolutely amazing I, I don't think I'm not saying I invented that but because uh, I think it's been around but uh, I, that's the way I enjoy my grilled cheese cabin fever here we go it's easy to do too that's the, that's the cool thing about it and plus it involves bacon, so I mean. Yesterday I made it all the way to the ravine from camp office and realized I left my hacks. Oh, yeah, that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Okay, it's too dark to work. How close are we to um, to Travoy land? Hour and a half. And then we have no nothing left on our... <laughs> it's empty. Oh, no, it's empty. All right. Let's see if we can do some reading out on the porch. So I'm going to take my sweet time here and get off, get out of this basement without light anything. Just bear with me here. Are we at the stairs? Is this the stairs right here? Can't tell. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. We made it. Oh wait, I think. Oh no. Oh no, you can't see anything. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, oh, we're right there. That was weird. I must have been looking at the wall or something. I must have been pointed towards the wall. Yeah, I've luckily I've never forgotten. Well, have I done that? I think I did one time. I forgot to bring my hammer to go forge. That's a, that's a huge, like, just slap your forehead moment when you do that. Okay, this bench is in this... I think it's in this... Okay, yeah, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Okay, that's the kitchen. That's the table here. Okay. All right. Might be too dark to read out here. You're still going to get cabin fever here, by the way. This is not alleviating that problem at all. This is still in progress. Okay. That's why I keep books here, because you can read at night on the porch. Pretty nice. It's not the only reason why you should come to the farmhouse, but it is a it is a nice bonus. Oh, 
Oh. Let's see where our cabin... Let's keep an eye on this cabin fever situation. 37%. Um... Okay. I think I need to lay down. Uh, are we gonna have enough energy to read one more? I think it's gonna be close. I think we're gonna make it though. All right, we did it. Sweet. All right, that book is red. Put it over there. Let's see how close we are to to. Uh, Archery. Oh, okay. We're almost to four. That's good. And then we'll start shooting wolf, wolves in the face once we hit archery four. Okay, now let's look at our cabin fever. 51%. It's going to keep on going up, but I think... I think we can... I'm going to make a, a, a snow shelter out there by the fire. But let's just... We'll just go ahead and just sleep tonight. Inside. And if we get it, it will be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, sleep for six hours here. We are going to make this Travoy. We're going to do it. Okay, let's look at our cabin fever risk again. Yeah, look at that. It's hard to craft these these things without getting it. Wait a minute. Empty locker. Oh. Oh yeah, go back this way. Here we go. Travoy. Hour and a half. Let's do it. Oh man, this is going to be great. I'm so excited. Okay, we got cabin fever. Just, I've, um, unable to sleep indoors for 24 hours. Okay, I can handle that. I can handle that. Shabby, I found a TLD video on YouTube a while ago when you picked up TLD for the first time in a while. Happy to see a live stream. Yeah, glad you're checking that out. That's cool. I got a bunch of, uh, yeah, I have a lot of YouTube videos. A lot. Uh, and, you know, some of them are from times gone by. Oh, we got well fed back. Yeah, sweet. We got well fed. Excellent. Well, I probably had it for a while. I just didn't notice. Oh, let's see. We got some stuff in this fridge. Let me just see what we got here. We got some supplies in here. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Let's do this. Prepper's pie, baby. Okay, and I think I have... Do I have cattails up here? No. Just... Okay. Are we keeping our food type stuff in here? We'll keep 30 on us. All right. Okay, we're just going to go over there and retrieve some, uh, well, we got to go over there and we got to kill the bear. I mean, we got to, we got to deal with the bear over there. So you made a mistake of eating your burdock root and didn't know about the prepper's pie. Yeah, man, that's prepper's pie. That's like one of my top tier. It's top of my list. Let's get a little maglins, baby. Come on, little fire. So 
So I guess you can't hold a torch while you carry, while you do the, that didn't work. while you're using the Travoy, I guess. I was thinking about just using it to go, just to test it out and just go across over to the farm or the barn with it, but. Come on, little fire. We'll see. Yeah. You can't do anything with it. It doesn't. Oh. Oh yeah, that's the cool thing about Prepper's Pie is that it doesn't oh, yeah. it doesn't have it's very it's a very good food item that doesn't have a stink factor. Which is not true for most of the good of your good foods. That's an that is one of the reasons why it's it's one of my favorites. But you know, to be honest, I haven't used this stuff a whole lot. I made it. I made all the recipes. I found all the recipes. I made them. Made them all. But just using them in a practical sense, I haven't. I don't have a lot of experience with that yet. But you know, that is one of the things. One of the things I thought about with the Prepper's Pie is it doesn't smell, and it is just. It's just a very good. It's just a very good item. The the I say the biggest problem yeah Briar House is one of my favorites as well um, I'd say probably the hardest part about Prepper's Pie is the acorn grounds they they take a long time to process acorn ground I mean acorn grounds is one of the sort of most labor intensive crafted items you can make you know for the time you sink into it and all that business. You gotta collect them. You gotta prep them. You gotta cook them. You gotta grind them. That's a lot. It's a lot. I think it's fun. I think the cooking. I think the cooking is is a, is a lot of fun. I'm really I really enjoy it. Yeah, we need a sous chef exactly. How about that guy? We'll hire that guy. Let's see if he wants to be a sous chef. This would be a good time to try to find the bear carcass. I might make a little trip into the into the birch forest and see if we can locate the bear. I'm gonna warm up. I'm gonna warm up in the barn. And then see if we can't locate this bear. I'm coming up onto an hour, and uh, again, French toast is is uh, in the air. And uh, I need to. Oh, sh I was looking away. <laughs> I was looking away right when. <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. We're not archery four yet, buddy. Look out! Whenever I hit archery four, you're in trouble. It shoots you in the face. I probably could already right now, but I don't know. It was so stressful in Timberwolf Mountain that I'm like, eh, I don't want to have to go on these wild goose chases all over the place looking for arrows. Can you eat trees? Cause I'm gonna. Okay, she's gonna eat a tree. Better give her some moose meat. Yeah, the yeah the 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 um the decay rate on pies is ridiculous, and I, I so I like I I I I've been so far been very disciplined about about dropping my pies outside before I go to sleep or or whatever. Um, shoot. Yeah, I thought there was two there. It looks like there's two. Okay. Um, I'm thinking what I should do right now. I think I just want to warm up. I guess I'm going to put this fire out. I probably should have made a I probably should have made a fire. That's I made a mistake there. That's okay. That's okay. I probably should have made a fire, and then I could have just got some water going. 
Now, obviously, we can't sleep here because we got cabin fever. We can't even pass time here. Wow. Okay. So now I know. I did not know that. Let's see if we have a dead bear. Bears killed four. There's still he's still alive, folks. He's hanging on. He's on life support. Yeah, that's true. The once you hit, a lot of the complicated like prepper's pie, for example, takes cooking five, and so you don't even worry about like yeah, like ruined food doesn't even pl have factor in. You think porridge would go bad before flatbread because the porridge has so much more water? Yeah, absolutely. You would think so. You would think so. But yeah, if you just drop your pie, you just don't keep your pies on in your inventory when you're not moving. Just drop your pies immediately. It'll, it'll, they last a lot longer. But yeah, I got burned. I made some rose hip pies way too early, like about three days early. And, uh, and the next thing I know they're, oh, he's, okay. <laughs> Hello. Did I say I hate me gold? Because I really do. That scared me. <laughs> scared me. Why isn't he dead? Oh, I hit him again. Okay, where is he going? He's gonna die in some weird place, isn't he? It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, I don't see him. Yeah, and he already had one in him. He had that was four hits, and he's still, still going. Well, I'm not gonna be able to see him. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's just haul all this stuff over. Let's stick to the plan, and then I'll just have to come back over here and get this bear, I guess. And we'll we'll use our trusty travoy. I'm gonna go inside here. Actually, wait a minute. Hang on. Let's figure out how to, how the hell to do this. What do you do? Deploy. Okay. So you just drop it on the ground. All right. Oh man, got a wolf right there, and I'm gonna start packing this moose meat. <laughs> let's put some. Let's put some of this other stuff in first. I'm on, I'm almost at archery four, almost. Take the hammer over there. I'm going to leave. No, we'll take the cool, we'll take the tools. There's some random stuff here, I guess. Okay. And then we'll take these. Ooh, look at this. We got a cured. Okay. This is excellent. I think I'm just going to leave those here. No, let's take them. Let's take them. I know. Well, I, I shot them and then I basically passed. I don't know if it was like an entire 24 hours. But he was still kicking. Okay. Put the hammer in there. Oh, so cold. Oh man, this wolf is gonna be honest. Oh man, okay, hang on, hang on. I don't want to get killed by a wolf. I'm gonna avoid that situation. 
Let's just light a fire. Yeah, the arrow hits stack. Yeah, they stack. Come on, little fire. I mean, you don't have to, like, get a critical, you know what I mean? Like, they do, like, add up. And, and let's just say the, 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 essentially the bear or anything has hit points. Well, except for rabbit and ptarmigan, whatever, but there's a, there is a sort of like a, you know, they essentially have hit points. And so you have to, you know, do enough damage to overcome the hit points. And you can get a critical, and there, there you do more damage if you shoot them in the head, you know, that sort of thing. There are, there are places on the, on the body that are, you know, you'll do more damage. Oh, shit. Uh, my meat was disappearing. <laughs> this is ruined. Oh, no. Hang on. Uh-oh. Okay, we can't stick that in there. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I was like, where's the meat going? I put like three, I think two or three in there and they just disappeared. Shoot. That sucks, man. That really sucks. I guess I'll just put the... And he sounds close. Ugh. I was crouched, and I was like, why can't I shoot this thing? Alright. Holy smokes. Damn. Okay. Um, well, we need water. <laughs> we need water. Let's make some water. I'm gonna cook up some. I'm gonna cook this up here. Let's use the skillet. Such a pain in the butt to do it that way. Okay, the bear's coming back. We are lucking out here. This is great. No, it wasn't cooked. It was just. It was just uh, raw, ruined moose meat and it just went poof when I put it in there so this is good this is gonna be this is gonna be good cuz I I will bet you that we can uh, probably if we get another shot on this bear I bet we take it out Dang pesky wolf. Oh, see, there we go. This is what I didn't want. This is why I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Gone. Goodbye, Arrow. Nice knowing you. See if we can see which direction he goes. Maybe. Oh man. Gotta warm up somehow. It looks like the the bear must have smelled us and he's coming right for us. That's perfect. Fine by me. I'm kind of bummed about the meat. But it makes sense. It's like you're putting it into a container. That's going to happen.
Where is he? There he is. Okay. I'm assuming he's coming over here. I mean, hang on. Let's just pick this all up. Did he, did he change directions? It doesn't look like it. Well, that's okay. He's going to be sneaky and go... He's going to come at us where we... Won't be able to get a... Sort of mid-range shot at him. Sneaky bear. So, the plan is now... Is to take out this bear. Load up all the bear meat onto this sled and then we'll take it over to the farmhouse okay here we go all right I don't know why he's not coming over here, because we obviously stink, and he obviously can smell us. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Be patient, Shabby. There we go. Alright. Okay. All right. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. We're going to use our tablets on the water here. Um, okay. All right. Shabby's going to stop right here. Um, I'm going to go in here before I forget. Drop these bear hides. Wait a minute. Where? Are, oh, I put. I loaded them up in the travoy. Let's get the. Let's get them out of the travoy because we're going to be here for just a little bit longer. Keep that curing time going. I don't want these to go bad either, so let's just keep them out. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna drop these hides and then I'm gonna resave it so I don't forget. Um, okay, that's it for Shabby today. Shabby's gotta make some French toast. Who knew that was one of my skill sets? But apparently it is. Okay, folks, we got a bear down. It's it looks like a porcupine over there. We got our travoy made. We're wearing our moose cloak. Things are going well, and we're back at the barn. Our favorite place in the game. Okay, folks. Nice hanging out with you, Mr. Barley. Laszlo. Good to see you. And any lurkers out there. Uh, until next time, take a shabby, everybody.